Hello, this is a very short video explaining Cobb's learning cycle and how Honey and Mumford's learning styles fit in with Cobb's learning cycle. Um, useful for all trainers and also coaches as well. Anything where you are helping to facilitate the learning of another person. David Kolb um, came up with this cycle in around 1972 and talked about how humans prefer to learn and that we go through a particular sequence when we're learning anything, whether that's a physical or a mental skill. Our preference is largely to try something out first, which is the do stage, then review what we've actually done in the do stage, then draw some conclusions from the, the review and the reflection, and then actually plan how we may actually do that differently next time, or continue with what we've already, already done. So to learn effectively, David Cole talked about us being able to go through the whole of the cycle. So this is something that you will have done unconsciously and quite naturally as a child. So for instance, when you were learning to ride your bike, for instance, you weren't necessarily thinking about going around this particular model, but you were very much um, learning by doing, experiential learning. Because most of us don't need a manual before we get on, on a push bike. And most of us, once we've learned how to ride a bike, it stays with us for life. So the learning stays and it, and it goes deep. So in the scenario where you're learning to ride a bike, you actually have a go, you do something, um, maybe you fall off, maybe you don't stay on very long, maybe you don't steer it correctly, but there's some sort of review, or in my case, you've usually got your dad whispering unhelpful things in your ear at the same time, like you should have pedaled quicker, you should have kept your, your, um, your hands on the handlebars, um, and, and steered it straighter. So you've got all those things that are pulling together. And then you start to draw some conclusions about what it takes to keep on your bike for that much longer um, and start to then plan, get back on your bike and plan building in what you've actually learned from previous examples. So to ride a bike without your stabilisers when you're six years old is very much a going round this a number of times until you've really got those neural pathways um, and your mind and body are working together so that you are no longer wobbling and it's, it's very easy. This works equally when you're learning a mental skill as well because it's very much about giving something a go, reviewing, concluding and planning. Now, Honey and Mumford talked about that we have um, a preference for um, a particular start point on this cycle. And depending on that preference means that you may actually have a greater preference for learning things by just giving them a go. Um, in which case, they would call you an activist. And that's very much the preference for learning by doing. Another style they talked about was the reflect style. And in that scenario, you prefer to start the cycle at this point. You prefer to reflect, stand back, perhaps observe other people doing it first before you're willing to give it a go. They talked about the theorist. This is the person who would perhaps start we we'll perhaps start the, the cycle at this point. So these are the people that like to read the manual, get an understanding of the principles, the procedures, the knowledge side of it first of all, before actually moving on to other stages of the cycle. The final style is the preparatist, who is very much interested in how this works in real life. Yeah. How can I actually incorporate this into something that I already know and do? A very pragmatic approach. So, in essence, most of us need to still go around the whole cycle, um, but where we start may be more determined where our, our learning style preferences are. The danger is, of course, that we may have a preference in a particular area. So me, for instance, I have a more dominant activist pragmatist style, 
which means that I might have a tendency to shortcut these two bits and actually go around the cycle just here. Doing things, planning to do some more things, doing some things, planning to do some more things. The danger when you're an activist pragmatist is you don't take enough time to reflect and pull in other information that you know about and that you've learned previously to give you the whole picture. However, if you have more of a reflector theory spent, yeah, you don't get away with it either. Because your problem is that you review, conclude, review, conclude. So it's very much about trying to um, stand back, think some more about the topic, get some more data, think some more about the topic, get some more data, think some more about the topic. Your problem is actually moving around the cycle to actually try some of these things out so that you can actually get some more experiential um, information, as it were, in order to do further concluding reflecting.